guys and gals, Insomnia from UnrealTech.net here again. Today we're going to take a little turn. Instead of making each team separate like we did before for each class, I think we're only going to use two teams, at least at first, and add class the four classes on top of uh, the two teams uh, as a choice. So I've also decided to build this project on top of my multiplayer Steam project with the networked chat box project on top of it which you can both you can download both of them from unrealtech.net so uh thus this video is going to show you how i'm going to go about cleaning up this project with everything migrated in so we have a nice solid base to work off of that is um able to host the game right off the right off the bat um and has that chat box uh, set up as well as, of course, all the multiplayer uh, set up stuff for LAN and Steam uh, without going through it again in this tutorial. But we're going to need it, of course. So those of you that are savvy enough and have followed my tutorials or downloaded the projects from UnrealTech.net can probably skip this video and figure everything out uh, in the next one. But I am recording it anyways just so I don't get a ton of messages with people saying, where did this come from um what happened to this file you know stuff like that just to prevent stuff like that and uh just to keep people in the loop some people like extremely long uh drawn out tutorials in extreme detail so anyways open up unreal remember create your way and let's get to it uh, we need to do some things first of all, so what I've done is I've migrated in the Epic Games first person template uh, project as well as my multiplayer Steam project uh, and it had some blueprints in it too you can see here uh, and so did the chat box so I've also brought in the chat box um, project which is under UI and I believe that is it. So I'm just going to clean up the folder structure, keeping it to what we had going in the Teams project, where we had all of our template stuff in the uh, stock, ass stock assets, template assets, stock assets, yeah. And um, everything else in the regular folder structure. So. I'm gonna start with the first person and uh, first person BP stuff. So I'm gonna just make a new level empty to make sure we got nothing in memory. And first person BP, let's get rid of this overview. Let's see, there's the first person example map. First person has all the animation stuff. So I am going to, um, I'm gonna throw those in the stock assets folder move them there we're gonna have lots of redirectors to fix up so I've got the redirector filter enable which you can do by going to filters miscellaneous redirector so once that's done I'm gonna turn on redirector and yeah we'll have some to fix up in these two folders so we'll select those we'll fix them up making sure we get no ears then I'm going to delete those folders Pending. Oh yeah, the map doesn't get moved, that's right. So we'll throw that map in uh, our maps folder. And it'll probably make a redirector, maybe. Maybe not, okay, fair enough. Um, so yeah, we'll delete those. No errors, perfect. Geometry, meshes. Um, we already have a geometry folder, I believe. And I believe it has the exact same items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all those meshes and I'm going to drag them into there. Oh, and I've just gone and made a total duplicate. Let's move them in there. So yeah, they're the exact same thing. So um, I'm just going to call this geometry duplicate. And I don't think we'll need it, but you don't want to have... Um, and meshes might have a redirector yeah fix those up you don't want to have uh missing references to go to have them find everything um when you're first starting out so i'll delete that now so we have geometry duplicate which i will also set to red 
Um, first person BP blueprints. I'm gonna set that to orange. We might need it. First person. I'm gonna set to red. Um, third person BP. That's yellow. I'm gonna set that back to orange. And yeah, so that's good like that. Um, stock assets. Since it has some orange stuff, I'm gonna set to orange. Starter content, uh, I'm going to set that to red just because we're not using it directly and I'm going to throw it in the stock assets folder too. So I'm going to move that folder there. And I forgot to delete the geometry and meshes folders. Alright, so starter contents moved, I'll set the new folder to red and I'll go to the old one. And check for redirectors, lots, so we're going to fix all those up. So I had to go through like pretty much a few files at a time. It looks like we have 18 that don't want to be fixed up, so I'm just going to restart the project. I've also renamed it to BF Clone for Battlefield Clone. And so it's asking me to save the new maps under Maps, so I am going to save them. That might be the cause of those issues because it uses those. All right, so now we have 11 items magically, so we'll try fixing those up. There we go, now they're gone, so we can delete starter content. Hmm, apparently there is still... World, 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 oh, I guess there's maps in there. I didn't even know that. <laughs> that shows how often I use starter content. So we'll just throw those in our map folder for now. Double check for redirectors and delete. All right, so in stock assets, there we go, starter content. Um, so blueprints, maps, materials, check for other redirectors first. Nope, we're clean, okay, materials. Um, so yeah, we have the chat box material, which is that uh, background gradient. I'm going to set chat box to red since that's kind of done and not needed. Um, team materials, I'm going to set that to red for now since we're not really using it at the moment. Um, maps, I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call one template. Template? Yeah, template maps. Oh, I'm just good. Yeah, template maps. And I'm going to throw first person and third person in there. Make a new folder called uh, starter content maps. And I'm going to throw that minimal and advanced and starter map in there. And then we have our main menu map. So I'm just going to start content. Let's go start so I'm going to set those both to red since we probably won't be using them uh, go back to content check for redirectors we're good in blueprints all we have is um, player state for the chat box so and the player controller and the HUD and the game mode um, so that is probably all going to get changed names. We'll get to that after. So, uh, cause we have a lot of in multiplayer steam to get to, uh, miscellaneous brainstorming. That's going to come in the next video. Um, I'll set that to yellow since it's only folder is yellow multiplayer steam. Um, I'm going to take the blueprints from it and I'm going to move them into our blueprints folder. And fix up the redirectors. You'll see we'll have some we'll have some uh, manual migrating or merging to do. Uh, we can delete the blueprints folder. Uh, maps. We can move that into our maps folder. And yeah, the, that'll work. We can remember that it's from. Well, we can make a new folder called MP Steam. I can put those in there. We'll set that to yellow since we will be using it, I'm sure. Check for redirectors, good, delete, and widgets. 
Um, let's throw those under UI. Let's make a new folder in here called uh, MP underscore underscore steam. Set that to orange as well as chat box. I'm gonna set to red since we won't be needing it. Um, actually, multiplayer steam probably red too since we'll be kind of working from scratch. Um, widget 3D, uh, that's something I was just playing with, so don't worry about that for right now. So I'm gonna take uh, the multiplayer Steam widgets, I'm gonna move them into that MP Steam folder under UI. I've changed from using a widgets folder to a specific UI folder. So, check for redirectors, none, so we can delete widgets, and we can delete MP Steam. Alright, um, template assets, that comes from another project, so we are going to have to throw it in stock assets and see what happens. Probably going to give us some errors, yep. So, it probably moved what it could. Um, so what we're going to have to do is just delete them and re replace the references. So I'm going to delete third person character and I'm going to replace it with the proper third person character which is under uh, third person, first person, why is it giving me both? But uh, third person, the chat box needs it. So uh, we're not using template assets, we're using stock assets folder so we want to replace it with that reference and let it delete. So let it do its thing. We will save the redirector and right click and fix up. And then we can delete the blueprints folder. And thus we can delete third person BP under mannequin animation. So we're going to have to do the same thing. So maybe not. I guess it's not being referenced by anything. None of these are. Okay, well, if we it's not being referenced, we can just delete them then. Works for me. So let's check redirectors, delete animations, character, material, let's start with textures. Try deleting that. Yes, we have some references. So UE4 logo card, assets referencing a UE4 logo card. Let's replace it with the right one, which is under stock assets. So it should be that one. So we'll replace references. Oh, of course we get ears. Uh, we'll move on to the next one and restart it. Normals under stock assets. Place references. Yes, we'll save. Move on to the next one. UE4 underscore. UE4 underscore mannequin. We need Matt Maska from Stock Assets Character Textures. There we go. Replace references. Save. UE4 man logo normal. We need to do that. So we'll delete it. And it needs UE4 man. Stock Assets. Yep. Looks good. Replace references. Save. Let's try this one again. Logo card. So stock assets, mannequin, character, textures, replace references. Oh, apparently I just chose the wrong one first. Then we need to fix up the redirectors. So right click, fix up, done deal. And we can go back and delete textures, go to mesh, uh, the skeleton. UE4 Mannequin Skeleton. That one there. Stock Assets Mannequin Character Mesh. Yep. Replace References. Save. SK Mannequin. Good on its own. Fix up the Redirector. And Delete. And then Materials. I think that's got some... No? Okay. Cool. Delete. Character, no redirectors, so we can delete that now. Mannequin, no redirectors, we can delete that. So that gets rid of template assets, no redirectors, perfect. Alright, so that is out of there. Stock assets, 
third person meshes is empty oh yeah that's because if we show an explorer it has a file in it it keeps reopening a cube material dot u asset redirector that exists but doesn't show up in unreal so i'm just going to manually delete that and then manually delete this from explorer windows explorer and then we can get rid of it in ue4 and it won't keep showing up so uh then we have textures team icons that's fine we can set that to red for right now since everything's red and uh under ui yeah um widget 3d is gonna be red since nothing i'll talk about that in the next video so that is everything cleaned up i think so i'm gonna leave that there i believe for now let's see because we have all this to migrate so i'm gonna make that a video of its own um teams yeah, that's just team info We'll probably want a new folder uh, called game modes since we're going to have multiple selectable game modes. Set that to like uh, red since it's rarely accessed and we'll just move all the game modes in there. And then uh, fix up the redirector. And we we'll usually only have one player controller, one player state, one HUD, one game state, and one game instance. Uh, so, yeah, I'm sure all that is fine. Um, yeah, we'll leave that as is. Maps, I think that'll work just fine for now. Materials were good, mesh were good, stock assets were good, textures were good, UI um yeah we're good so make sure we have no last redirectors and i'll leave it off there so in the next video we are going to merge all these duplicate classes um from all these other projects so that everything will work together and so that i don't have to do 10 more videos showing how to do the chat box and steam multiplayer setup again we'll just have it available so I'll go over that in the next video. And after that, we will uh, start with, um, where is it? All the ideas I came up in brainstorming. So you can see some of them I came up with. matter anymore because we do have those classes so replication yeah we just have to worry about that too so that's some brainstorming i came up with if you guys have any ideas let me know and i will add them uh before the next video or whatever so anyways that is my brainstorming uh actor blueprint so yes that is it for now that is the entire project cleaned up except for the classes uh the blueprints merging so we'll do that in the next video so thanks for watching from the team here at unreal tech the vision of blendertech.com if you enjoyed this video and learned something please like it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos we also take donations now if you look in the description we're on social media on the links on your screen if you dislike this video for some reason, please tell us why so we can improve them based on your input. We also take requests, so we'll see you next time. And remember, create your way.